Hi, my name is Lisa Allen. Welcome to this English lesson. En esta lección tenemos tres objetivos. Definir cuándo usar el verbo to be, distinguir cuándo usar las formas singulares y plurales, y formar oraciones correctamente usando las formas de to be en el presente. El verbo to be en el presente, las palabras am, is, are, es nuestro contenido conceptual. El profesor de inglés va a explicar un proyecto especial. Let's begin the lesson. The verb to be is used to express four things. First, presence. For example, that you are here or somebody else is there, your presence. Job or identity. Conditions, that would be like busy. And emotions. Emotions are uh, anger, love, things like that. Now, the verb to be has three forms in the present tense. Let's look at those three forms. In the present, the verb to be has two singular forms, am and is. And then one plural form, the word are. We use am in the present only with the word I. For example, I am 20 years old. That would be a condition. I am Honduran, an identity. I am sad. That would be an emotion. And we only use am with the word I. Now, with the word is, we can use is with any other singular nouns or pronouns that are functioning as the subject. For example, one is here. Just one person, so we can use is. She is a nice girl. The doctor is very happy today. So with all other singular nouns and pronouns, use is. Then what do we do with are? Are is still in the present tense, but we use with plural nouns and pronouns. For example, they are good students. They is more than one person, so we use are. The books, plural, are heavy. Mario and Tomas are the best soccer players. Now, we use are with the plural. All right, it's your turn. Fill in the correct present form of the verb to be. Our new dog, obedient. Am, is, or are. One dog, is. The new buses, red and white. Buses is plural, so we use are. Today we on vacation. Do you know? We are on vacation. How about this one? Hector, so tired tonight. You should say is. I a musician. Remember, one word we use with I, am. And finally, you two, funny. Two, are. In this lesson, we have seen six new vocabulary words. Presence, heavy, funny, identity, obedient, and musician. Hemos terminado con nuestros tres objetivos. Definir cuándo usar el verbo to be, distinguir cuándo usar las formas singulares y plurales, y formar correctamente oraciones usando las formas de to be en el presente. El verbo to be en el presente es nuestro contenido conceptual. Thank you for your attention.